Over the last two million years, the Earth has gone through numerous glacial and interglacial periods. Although the cycles of cooling and warming occurred gradually, the changes in temperature and precipitation made a significant impact. Today, climate change is occurring at a greater rate than ever before. One contributing factor is the massive increase in atmospheric greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane that are generated by human activities. Over the past century, the Great Basin has experienced a region-wide warming, which is projected to continue. Average minimum temperatures are on the rise, causing the snowpack to melt about 15 days earlier than a half century ago. The snowpack is also melting more rapidly, increasing stream flow during the spring and reducing flows throughout the summer. The reduced flows mean less water for plants, wildlife, and people. If the climate continues to change at this accelerated rate, some species may have difficulty adapting, which could lead to extinction. Warmer mountains, for instance, are forcing subalpine vegetation to move uphill. If the warming persists, the vegetation will essentially be pushed off the top of the mountains. Alpine zones, which harbor many unique plant species, are shrinking rapidly. Some animals are vulnerable as well. Pikas, for instance, overheat very easily. Already limited to a handful of ranges in the Great Basin, pikas may soon become extinct throughout the region. Because the consequences of this rapid change are serious, the National Park Service is responding with monitoring, restoration, and management efforts. We are committed to understanding the impacts of climate change on natural resources in order to protect them for the future. But we cannot do this alone. Talk to a park ranger to learn how you can help.